Hey Road Trippers, this is Jason and Allison, and we just like to share with you a hike you can do outside of Silverton, Colorado, called the Highland Mary Lakes Trail. tried to suck the blood out of my eye. You okay? Yeah. Okay. We're about point four to the left.
Painful high five. No, this is a painful, this is the worst high five. This is a tragedy. Great high five. So the drive to the trailhead, uh, you first start off a well, on a well-graded dirt road, uh, which becomes progressively worse. It was rough. It was pretty rough at the end. So from Silverton, you'll uh, take a well-graded dirt road uh, for a while. you'll reach a point where you will need a high clearance vehicle. Uh, there's a couple spots to park, both of which um, require going on narrow, uh, bit rough dirt roads. If you're familiar with off-roading, maybe it's no big deal to you, but we're not off-roaders, so uh, it, it was a little testy for us. But if you have a four-wheel drive, you should be okay. So there are two parking areas that you can park at close to the trailhead. Um, one of them is up on a little hill. Uh, the other one you have to actually cross a stream uh, to get to and it's closer to the actual trailhead. So the stream could get harder to cross if there's a lot of snow melt um, happening or if there's um, some rain. So we decided to park on the hill and we just crossed the stream on foot, uh, which was not a problem at the time that we went. So the trail was uh, very nice. It was a nice steady climb. It was approximately 1,500 feet elevation uh, to get up to the lakes. Uh, there are three lakes at the top. Um, the first one the kids will tell you about. The second one was probably my favorite, I believe. It was pretty nice. And then the th there was the third lake, which is where we chose to sit and have lunch and just relax. And on this trail, there were a lot of wildflowers. That was beautiful. Some waterfalls as well. Once you get above treeline, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's kind of an open area, more tundra-like. Uh, very beautiful. So if you decide to do this hike, make sure you get started early uh, due to afternoon thunderstorms, especially in the summer. So my favorite thing about the hike um, was the third and second lake the first lake looked it didn't look that good at all it looked the water looked all brown and then there was like a small island and it looked really bad that looks horrible <laughs> the second lake looked pretty good it, it was nice and blue and you got to see a little bit of the reflection in the water the third lake was my favorite because the water was really blue you got a great reflection and the sun was reflecting off the water a lot so it looked really pretty. The first light it was all brown and stuff and not in the middle. Eh. Second one it had some reflection and um, third one was the best. The hike itself was pretty good. There were a lot of wildflowers and it wasn't too difficult. The hike um, wasn't too difficult. I just liked it. I liked the candy because um, the, we had gummy worms and um, big sour patch. The drive-in was really weird and difficult. I, I would recommend just like driving in and parking on the parking like down at the very bottom and not going through all the, like the weird dirt road stuff because it's hard to get in and hard to get out. So I would just recommend hiking that extra a few hundred feet. The stream crossing at the start, um, it, it was definitely hard, but it was kind of fun, like just crossing the river. It was under a foot deep, so you could walk through it if you want, but your socks would get really soggy. And the other stream crossing, it was, 
it was fine. There were just a few other parts that were like a little weird. The rating overall, it's it's not a very tough hike, so it should be pretty easy. Um, and also if you like parkour. It looked pretty good and the rock scrambling, like there's a certain part that you get to, there's rock scrambling that you can jump across the rocks. So that's fun. Some of these are really wobbly. I'll give it like, like a B to an A. Overall, I get, I'd give the hike about an A. It's not too difficult and the lakes look really pretty. Port's also pretty long. Well, that's because they found silver and they thought it was tin. I mean, yeah. <laughs> silver tin. Thanks for watching, Road Trippers. We hope to see you in the next video.